I was brought up by family vloggers and it ruined my life. I, 17 female, was brought up by parents who family vlogged. They started vlogging when I was around 7 and stopped 3 years ago. I want to hugely avoid speculation as to who my family is, so I won't be sharing much more detail. The channel had over 500,000 subscribers. My parents finally stopped when there was a mental health crisis in my family as a result of the channel. This was never shared online. If you are a family vlogger or are considering it, please read this and consider my perspective. I've wanted to share for a while but didn't know how to. I loved it for a while. I loved being center of attention while the camera was on and I loved getting more toys. I stopped loving it when I realized the only time I got attention was when the camera was on and the only time I got toys was when I performed in a way I was meant to. I'm going to list some stuff that happened and how it affected us. My siblings and I were so paranoid there was a camera on us that the only place we felt comfortable changing was in the bathroom with the lights off. I couldn't talk to my mom about anything when my mental health began to get bad because I was too scared she would share it online. If I had asked her not to do it, it wouldn't have made a difference. I now barely have a relationship with my mom. My mom considered homeschooling us so that she'd have more time to make content during the day. My best friend's mom said that she didn't want my friend to be my friend anymore because my mom kept filming her without permission. My mom didn't care how upset I was. I didn't have a single private moment. My mom woke me up with the camera on and she often filmed right until we went to sleep. She filmed us in the bath and although she tried to get it off the internet, it's downloaded and online forever. She shared when I got my period even though I told her I didn't want her to. Someone attempted to kidnap my sister and found it easy because they knew her full name, address, school, and details about her. My sister didn't know he was a stranger because he knew so much about her. And there's obviously a lot more. Am I the asshole for silently getting up and walking out of the restaurant during New Year's Eve dinner after I was told to pay for everyone at the table, aka my in-laws? I, female 32, recently inherited a good amount of money from my mom. I keep the money in a separate account as I still haven't decided what to do with it and don't want it to go to waste. I noticed my husband constantly bringing up the inheritance money and making countless suggestions as to what I should do with it. Another thing is that he expects me to pay for nearly everything for the past couple of weeks. For New Year's Eve, my husband and I met up with his family at a restaurant and it was going fine until I found out I was supposed to pay for everyone. Am I the asshole for leaving New Year's Eve dinner after I found out I was supposed to pay for everyone at the table, aka my in-laws? My husband's mom joked about paying for dinner out of my inheritance pocket which made me livid but I showed no reaction. Instead, I silently paid for my own food and drinks, then got up and made my way out of the restaurant. They were shouting after me like a crowd and my husband tried to get me to come back, but I drove home. He got back at 3am yelling at me saying I was pathetic to get up and walk out on him and his family. And that they relied on me paying for their food. Because you know, they thought I was gracious enough to do it. And they think this is revenge for when they couldn't help my sick mom. Am I the asshole for refusing to move out? I, 24 female, have lived in the same apartment for four years and in this time I've had two roommates. One the first two years I lived here and the second for the rest of the time. My current roommate, 32 female V, has been great until now. She's in a long-term relationship and over Christmas she got proposed to. Now they want to live together but both approached me and asked me to let her fiancé take over my lease and for me to find a new place as soon as possible. I have a few problems with this. First of all, I feel like they should find a new place because I have lived here longer. Also, I have plans in the future of living alone. Am I the asshole for refusing to move out? I also told V a few months ago that I did talk to the landlord about once our lease is up together, I'll be living alone since I can now afford it. At that time, she agreed and said that her boyfriend and her would look for a place together. So I brought this back up to her, but she said when they look for other things, it was too expensive and it made sense for me to move out and not her. I refused and told her to ask the landlord if there's any other units in our building. She started cussing me out and has had her fiance and their friends harassing me about it. There's four months left on the lease, so I'm going to ignore them, but my mom thinks I should just let them have it. Am I the asshole for not defending my boyfriend when my brother asked him to leave? My 28 female boyfriend, 27 male Ryan, likes to help others. He's the type of guy who would give a coworker money for rent or groceries, but he can take it too far sometimes. He often tries to help people without asking if they actually want or need his help. Every year, my brother Paul and his wife Lily host a holiday dinner and this year Ryan was coming. I told Ryan that Lily was legally blind and had been her entire life. So I told him to only help Lily if she herself asked for the help. 
We arrived early to help cook and Ryan kept telling Lily things like, Lily, if you're looking for the salt, it's to your right. Am I the asshole for not defending my boyfriend when my brother asked him to leave? She pulled out a knife to cut veggies and Ryan asked if he could take over because he didn't want her to hurt herself. Lily said she'd be fine, but Ryan insisted and finally Paul got annoyed and told Ryan to stop, but he kept hovering. I asked him to sit down and also reminded him of what I said earlier, but everything boiled over at dinner. My nieces five and three have a game they play with their mom where they hand her something and she guesses what it is. And sometimes she makes outrageous guesses just to make them laugh. But Ryan started loudly telling the kids what the items were. Paul demanded that Ryan leave and Ryan insisted he was only trying to be helpful, but Lily said it was probably best if we left. I have been living with my girlfriend for several months now. She likes a huge breakfast in the morning. Meanwhile, I only ever have cold cereal for breakfast. Or maybe if I'm feeling really ambitious, some instant oatmeal and orange juice. So recently I asked her if she'd start making breakfast for me too. She asked if we were going to trade off and if sometimes make breakfast for her too. I told her that there's no way I'll ever be able to muster that kind of energy first thing in the morning, but that since she obviously can't, that she should just make me breakfast too. I said that it would take no, next to no extra effort on her part to throw in a couple of more eggs, strips of bacon, an extra portion of hash browns, etc. But it started a fight with her saying that it wasn't fair for me to expect her to think of me in the morning since I don't do the same for her. But I think that since she makes a huge breakfast for herself every morning anyway, that throwing in an extra portion of whatever she's making on for me would take next to no effort on her part. My mom got remarried after my parents divorced and her new husband brought along my stepsister. I live with my dad mostly because I do not want anything to do with a new sibling and had pretty much no relationship with her and hated that my mom treated her like a daughter. I wasn't the nicest to her, but I felt she was taking my place. Fast forward to now, she's getting married. I wasn't invited since we have no relationship whatever, I didn't invite her to mine either. The issue is I planned my daughter's first birthday and when I told my mom she said it can't be that day because it's my stepsister's wedding and we can change it to the next weekend so people don't have to choose which one to go to. I said no. My stepsister's wedding is at 8pm, my daughter's party is at 1pm. People can do both, but almost everyone on my mom's side RSVP'd no to her birthday party because of the wedding and travel. Even my own mother said she can't make it because she will be at the stepsister's wedding and getting ready all day. I'm pissed. How can she choose a stepdaughter over her own grandchild? My family had a BBQ and I invited a work colleague. While we were there, some of my parents' neighbors were driving fast around the neighborhood. My brother said, and words. And my friend was shocked. She's white, by the way, and I'm Hispanic. Well, white Hispanic, but Hispanic nonetheless. She looked at me and then said, excuse me, to my brother. She said that was racist and rude. My brother didn't care and said the word again. Then she turned to me and said she was leaving. She called an Uber and left without even eating or saying bye to anyone. Later that night, I texted her and said she overreacted and that it was a word and he wasn't calling anyone that. I said she's acting immature and needs to grow up. I tried texting her again later, but my messages didn't deliver, so I think she blocked me. Now I'm scared she will get me fired and my brother who works in the same industry field. I met Asla for not waking up my husband and causing him to miss his flight to attend Christmas with his family. My husband, and we'll call him A, is the only son in his family. He is spoiled so much by his mother and his three sisters. The way I see it is they treat him like royal, and they actually call him their heir, and they gift him very expensive stuff. It's very much like prince level treatment. I didn't have an issue with it at first since they considered it showing their love and appreciation, but I used to get in lots of fights and arguments with his mom and sister about not making the same efforts to treat him the way they do. And because of this, I got disinvited from lots of events, including Christmas. A's stance is a stay out of it, and when I complained about his family disinviting me from Christmas, he said he could not force them to have a guest they do not want. On the morning of his flight, he slept in and didn't wake up on time. He woke up freaking out and yelling at me about being petty and not waking him up before his flight after he asked me to. The reason I didn't wake up was because I was also sleeping, and his phone wasn't near him either. He left in a rush trying to get it on another flight, but due to the airports being packed, he didn't. As a result, he would have missed it. Moms and sisters are pissed at me, saying that I ruined the holidays for him. 